Hey, good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? Everybody good? That's all right. That's good. That's good. I just came in to check in with you. Look at that. Always. Always. What? And that's the main topic of what I want to talk about today. The main topic of what I want to talk about today. Okay. I wear that with me because that demonstrates to me. 888 lots of money honey financial abundance is on your way right now i am aligned with money that i need and it only does not necessarily mean money it means wealth and abundant in knowledge and wisdom in your health abundant in the way that you think abundant in you, you know the, the the destined people that are supposed to be in your life your soul tribe as we call it so there's just a little message that i want to say to you today so it's your girl Shay Shay from Simply Magnolias and Honey, just a southern girl living life like it's golden. No matter how thick and sticky life gets, remember it is still what? Golden. Bring it in. Come on, come on. Come come talk to Shay Shay. Come on. What are you thankful for today? Don't be looking at my little crusties and my little, uh, my little, uh, yeah. But the best edge control that I've ever used, sure. But anyway, I want this video to be a video of gratitude today. Everybody's talking about, oh, this finna be my year. Oh, two, 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 two you know, 23, 2023. It's gonna be my year. Okay, well, your year. Your year of what? to be exact just monetary gain y'all gotta think about something <clears throat> I may not do it every single day but every time that I think about it thank you spirit so much thank you lord so much you saved me you saved me from myself You hear me? Thank you, Spirit, so much. You saved my mind from myself. Times where I did not even want to live anymore. Because I allowed the validation of somebody else's incapabilities of showing me what I needed and me putting a prerequisite on them to fulfill that void in which I had to learn that void comes from within y'all hear me like I said that alone time I thank you Lord for the, the the things that I have gone through I thank you for this alone time I thank you for the way things have happened it's this gonna sound real off but just follow me I don't want to say it like, oh my gosh, you're so desensitized. Listen, I am grateful for the outcome of myself and me recognizing the overall purpose of this, the fact that my daughter died. You understand what I'm saying? Of course, I'm grieved by the incident. Absolutely. I'm not talking about the incident. I'm talking about the overall effect that transpired after the, it's like the aftermath result. That's what I'm grateful for. 
I'm grateful for the fact that I was able to open my eyes and really true, truly be able to see where my help does come from. My help don't come from no funky little job. My help don't come from the daggone government. My help don't come from nobody else, no man. My, 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 you know, not like that. But my help, my help, meaning like the source of the help does not come from man-made items. The help comes from the source. And I'm so blessed right now. Like every time I start to get all emotional. Damn, Shay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my lashes on this time. Shoot. I don't feel like crying right now. Dang. But I can't even, I can't even hold it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get yourself together. You know how people, when they're getting ready to cry, they be trying to fan their eyes. Like, girl, you cannot fan the water. Stop. You cannot fan the water to stop it. Stop it. Okay. I'm so grateful that I was able to wake up. I felt like a curse was 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 written over my life to never succeed. Never, never for me to find out who I was. Never for me to find out my purpose and my mission. Never for me to find true love. Never for me to be in love. Never for me to remain married. Never for me to grow up to be this beautiful black chocolate Hershey's, you know, honey discipline. <laughs> thick woman stop it mm, all right but but i think there was like i think an agreement was made like i like honestly i i, I ain't gonna lie to you i really think that uh, uh somebody tried to sacrifice me spiritually for real i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm even grateful for that i'm even grateful for that you know why because my spiritual team even man we rock harder Man, I've been rocking with these jokers since I was ch a child. Been talking to them since I was a child. Oh, you're a witch. Oh, that's demonic, man. What the f man? Call it what the hell you want to. I don't. I don't care. What is this on my lip? I don't care what you call it. Spiritualist, new age spiritualist. This is a new. I mean, what whatever label you want to put on it. I don't care. I know where my who my source is, right? And I've been rocking with them jokers forever. Okay, since the beginning of time, you hear me? So for me, I am so grateful for the times. Like I honestly, I, I keep saying this every like these with these these like like I wouldn't say prophetic, but like these dreams I deal with dream these these videos that be dealing with like my dreams and stuff. Like I keep saying, I keep picturing me like sitting at a daggone round table. You got. Some some jokers over there on on one side wearing all black with hoods on their head. Then you got these tall, dark skinned dudes on this side with like these white turbans on. And I'm sitting at the head, and they all going back and forth. Oh well, she gonna go through this. Oh well, you can take her through that all you want to because we gonna get her out. And da 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 da. And then they're going back and forth before I even get here. Before I was even in my mama room, my mom, my mom's womb, right? I can literally envision them all sitting at this big tail round, round table. I'm at the head, you know, they all pretty much making all these decisions. And then, and then at the end of the day, they all looking at me like, so you're going to accept the mission? You're going to accept this? Because you heard all this, the bullshit the, the, you got to go through. You ready? You ready to rock the boat? If you ready now, go on and sign on the dotted line and we'll go ahead and, and your mom, your mom, you, you, you see her right there? Yeah, that's, that's your mom right there. That, that's going to be your daddy. Yeah, it's about to be some shit, but yeah, that, that's them. All you got to do is sign on the, on the dotted line. Be prepared, though. But remember, you're not going to remember until you really start something big going to happen to you. that you, It's going to all start flooding you. You ready now? You okay with that? All right. Let's go then. And then all of a sudden, poof. Oh. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm pregnant. Then here come Shay Shay. Ooh, that little chocolate cabbage patch doll, hey. And that was that that was me. They used to call me they they for real. You know Mississippi fit folk always gotta come up with some daggone nickname. Yeah, I was the cabbage patch. Alright. Then next you went, next thing you know. 
The next thing you know, I'm here. Like I'm telling you, I like I honestly, I am so serious. I really do believe, like man, like once you come to the realization of that, you chose your life. You chose. You chose this journey. Oh well, I didn't ask for this. I wasn't. I well, yes, you did. Technically, yes, you did. I don't know all the, 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 I'm still learning a lot of stuff. So I don't really understand. And I really don't know like the, the, the deep meanings and all the, listen, all I know, man, that's why I'm very, very careful as to now, now that I understand karma, now that I understand that you're, you I understand that everything that comes out your mouth is a contract. Everything that you done ever spoke out your mouth. Yeah. You, you gonna have to live up to that. Now I am very calculated as to what I say. I am very calculated as to who I'm around. Maybe in a in a past time, maybe this person, no, you may be my sister today, but you could have been my enemy last time. Oh, you you know, you might be my mom and my daddy today, but you could have been, you know, my whoever last it's man it like i said that deja vu crap people be walking up to you 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 you, you remind me of something i know you from somewhere yeah because you know me from somewhere else a different timeline and that's why i say man i am so grateful man every day i'm like man i am so grateful for the life that i've chosen and i'm so grateful that yes i have accepted this this gonna be my last life here I'm going to get this thing together and I'm going to, man, when you understand your power, when you start to understand an inner, that, that inner, in that inner feeling, I don't need to sit around there. People all think that, oh, you know, you, you, you know, a lot of people think they once they read a few books and watch a few freaking documentaries and follow this person that, that make them spiritual, man, you spiritual from birth, yo, you, 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 you already know who you already know you hold some type of a power, but you just don't under, you have to learn to develop them. Everybody is gifted. I don't have to sit up here and read, uh, all, all these 15 umpteen books about where I came from and all that. All I need to know is like, of course, you know, that, that plays a part in it too. Yes. When you start to, when you go down that rabbit hole, you start really figuring out what you know, America is and, and all, man, that, that is the most, you, you will overwhelm yourself and you start take, making yourself go crazy. But once, once you get yourself figured out first, figure out who the world you are first and what you bring to the table and what your abilities are what your capabilities are who who you need to be get from around who you need to be looking out for who when you start to understand and understand yourself as in a being then you can start to learn where to place yourself in um, like america's history because it's all going to make sense because if you jump into america being egypt if you jump into you know yeah you know uh um uh 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 the, the governments from back in the day when you you are when you jump in from stuff outside of you it's so confusing because at that point you 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 try to figure out like that well i don't even <coughs> i don't even have a purpose at this point or i you know it's so overwhelming i don't even know where i fit in it but when you start to understand who you are first as an individual, why why you were chosen, why why you were birthed to this person and that person, what your generational curses is. So when you go back down the line, okay, start to go down the line and try to dissect, okay, well, my daddy, okay, well, his daddy, I ain't know him. But then, you know, and you start to really go down your family tree. Then you start to study and you start to really understand like, okay, let me, let me, let me Google where I came from. Like, I'm from Natchez, Mississippi, born there. Wasn't raised, but I was born there. And I just figured out, everybody's like, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're a uh, Cherokee Indian. No, I'm not. It may be some blood dribble down in there, but Natchez Indians, the Natchez Indians, my family, um, my family, uh, okay, I Googled, like, the Natchez Indians and the old Natchez Trace is this long, beautiful, oh my gosh, some of the most beautiful trees you could ever see. Um, But it was, I forgot what the name of these other Indians were. I forgot what the name of the Indians were, but they weren't Indian. They weren't uh, Cherokee though. There were some mixed in that, yes, but it was another one. I can't remember what it was. 
I was trying to figure it out the other day, but whatever. But once you really start to really figure out where you came from, where your family name came from, you know, you know, you know, at this point, when you start to really go through your identity crises on what the in crisis of who the world you are, you will realize where your name came from. My last name is Boyd. That name comes from all the slave, the old, the slave masters and all that. So, so, so all we did was adopt the slave master's name. My, my family name is Rice. You know, the Rices. So yes, Jerry Rice is my cousin. Well, my cousin's cousin. Yes. You know, Steve McNair. That's my, that's my mama brother. That's my uncle. The RIP to him. I ain't know him, but you know, when you really start to Google your family history and really understand who the word you are, that. That's when a lot of things start to under, start to make even more sense because you have a sense of identity. Now you can place yourself in certain parts of history that makes so much sense. Now, you know, now with it being said that more more research is coming out that, you know, America is Egypt and all that other type of stuff. Mississippi, the Mississippi River, you know, some are saying I, I haven't really did. I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't really did the research dug deep into it but some are saying you know that's the even the, the mississippi river or i mean the nile river or the euphrates you know how lo long the mississippi river run i gotta do more digging into that but that would make so much sense because because my bloodline is connected to down there it makes so much sense so now i can actually place myself in certain parts of history like man that makes sense you know, and all these Egyptian dreams that I've been having lately, you know, it makes so much sense. And if then you start to really understand, okay, you know, Louisiana, my daddy, you know, Louisiana, and and and, and my mom, Mississippi, deep that that deep deep down south, you know, it was there hoodoo, was there voodoo involved? Was there any type of you know? Was my family involved in any of that? Like my great granny just passed away. She was over a hundred some years old. She was an Eastern star, and we already know what the mm, 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 we gonna leave that right there. And I think I, I think it's been thirty minutes. But um, but once you start to really understand like who it is that you are, then again, and be grateful, be grateful for whatever you find out. And that and that's and that's the one thing that I want to clarify with y'all is this. Once you start to understand all that. And you become so grateful for the good, the bad, the ugly of everything that you find out about yourself, about your so-called family and all that. It makes life so much easier. So again, I thank you for all the traumas that I faced. The rejections, being lied on, being blamed for stuff, the comparisons, you know, um, divorces, lying, cheating. You know, I, like, man, I used to steal when I was younger. Boy, convicted felon, all that convicted felon the, the freaking uh the detective trying to give me 20 years all that if you read my book come up high you would know that mm -hmm. but yeah like I, i'm just so grateful for a lot of stuff that i have been able to go through because now look man i'm blossoming into a beautiful woman man i and i that's not i you know that's not me being, being conceited uh, you, yes i think i'm all that in a bag of chips show sure do bump that i ain't even no chips i'm i'm all that and you got to think of yourself like that. And not to be in no cocky, like, conceited way either. You know, be, just be, um, grateful of all the time that you've gone through in life, man. Because now, um, I don't even know if it's been 30 minutes, all right. This little 30 minutes, little funky little 30 minutes ain't even long enough. I can't even talk to y'all like I want to. But that's all right. You don't, you know, you don't go sneak a little conversation. Stop playing. But, um. Um, so again, so again, this is the season of really to be for real grateful because you can't always be sitting out there with your daggone hand out wanting this and wanting that and then expect for then then turn around and expect people to want to give, want to give, 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 give back to your little funky head. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like, what are you thankful for? Before the end of this month, just start really start thinking about what is it that you are grateful for. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the indifferent. Hey, y'all, I'm back. As you can see, I did not get to record. And of course, look, right when I want, right when I want to, I gotta go get some gas. 
Okay, so as you can see, I did not get to record or uh, finish, but the main thing was use this last month to be truly grateful, truly grateful. A spirit of gratitude and and the last thing that I was stating was you know you can't always expect a handout you can't always say give me give me give me give me and you're not even putting out no 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 type of gratitude you're not you not um regardless of how somebody else treats you how are you treating that person because because that to me means you got you had a motive the whole time like you you just did something just for what what, what recognition just to say that you did something so at the end of the day it's like you know why you did why you do it for so for me do it anyway do it from the purity of your heart and if nothing is coming out if, if you're doing something your heart ain't pure about it you, you need you, you i think you need to do some more healing for real but anyway, like, <sighs> when you are appreciative of everything that you have gone through, man, just, just, just realize that your good karma is coming. Everything that you are meant to have is coming to you. It is. But I love you. It is. What time it is? Dang, it's only 5.30. You see how late it is? You see how dark it is? I mean... It's so dark. <laughs> but. I just can't wait for, you know, life to really turn around for you. What a man over here staring at us. Staring over here for. <laughs> this ain't across the street looking crazy. Like, y'all might as well just keep on. Keep on going. Because what you staring at. Looking mighty suspicious over there. Y'all know that there's cameras right there across the street. <laughs> Days watching you. Yeah, you can try to pop off over here if you want to, sir. I need to get my blicks up. For real. Mm-hmm. I bet they did. I'm going over there and keep walking across the street. <laughs> but that was the message. That was the message today. Oh. Was that your ball? What you just do? Them jokers hurt, don't they? Boy, you hurt yourself, didn't you? In my no-no square. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah, all right. Where's your coat at? Oh, no. You better stop. You better stop. Let me, let me, that little joke, he, he better go ahead and get his little tail in the house before he ended up cutting them jokers off. He better stop playing. Then I'm going to really be in the hospital. Then I'm going to really have to take his little tail to the hospital, try and do wheelies and tricks and stuff. And, and, I ain't playing with you, boy. Yeah, all right. That C gonna be like that. Gonna Edward scissor hands over there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I love you again. I didn't say that three times already. Shoot. Uh, and I'm hungry again. Dang. I gotta go find these cheering something to eat. My light will keep cutting off because he don't want me to be great. What time it is? 5.30. Oh, hold on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye.